Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about large time frames like weekly, monthly, quarterly and we will figure out is it still bullish trend what's going on with the stock market world. As usually let's move to 5 rules of risk management, please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful now it's time for trading view. Let's start from trading view, stock market heat map based on all USA companies, market cap and, the, and monthly performance. Looks like a lot, uh, yeah, mix mode, right? Large caps, green, small caps, red. Apple red, Tesla red on monthly. Quarterly, still a lot of green, Tesla and Apple also red. And weekly weekly a lot of red right okay now let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review my name is vadik let let me briefly mention about my setup if you want to learn more about trading view setup just go to the description there is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings my setup is i'm using simple moving averages white line sma 200 purple line sma 100 Blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, and green line SMA 5. Buy and sell script indicator. Below yellow line RSI line and high Kanachi bars. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful. Like on my screen, sell signal SMA 5, green line did bearish crossover over red line. For me, it's an entry point for bearish trend. Green line, buy signal, green circle, SMA5 did bullish crossover of a red line. For me, it was entry point for long position. Now SMA5 ready for bearish crossover, right? Okay, let's see uh, DXY. Let's start from DXY weekly. Last bar about all moving averages except 100 still bullish, right? Weekly. I don't trade on weekly on monthly time frame. I just monitor it. Monthly, last bar below SMA 20, but above SMA 5 and 10, kind of flat sideways. But still in a bullish way, in a bullish way. Bullish dollar, remember, it's a bearish, uh, bearish for stock market and equities. And quarterly, quarterly last bar still above all moving averages, still in the bullish territory, bullish position, but the SMA5 green line ready for bearish crossover. <coughs> okay, now let's move to Qs. Qs, let's start weekly. Weekly last bar still above all moving averages, bullish trend, price action bullish, bearish divergence on the, on the RSI. Monthly, same monthly, right? Price action bullish, bearish divergence on RSI, volume is di uh, has di bearish divergences also. Bullish trend with bearish divergences. Quarterly, bullish price action, bearish divergences on RSI. Definitely, it wants to have correction. Below lines, yellow, green, and red, it's a support lines, red line, it's the top of the 2008. Yeah, this is 2008 top. Oh, I think it's 2000, no, 2000, sorry. It's a 2000 top. 2008 top was over here. 2007 top was over here. Halfway. That's what we are expecting to have correction. And okay, now let's move to SP 500. SP 500 weekly. Weekly bullish trend with bearish divergences also. Right on RSI, price action bullish. RSI has bearish divergence. Monthly. Monthly similar bullish trend. On RSI, bearish divergence. Definitely, it wants to have connect correction. Last bar disconnected from SMA 20. Bullish trend. And quarterly, 
same story last bar bullish trend and bearish divergences on RSI since 2018 right and same support lines below that's what we're expecting even SMP it can go to SMA 200 this red line it's a 2007 level 1500 that is its expected correction will it happen this year or next year it's a question 66 million dollar question but it will happen i don't know the date but i know it will happen now let's move to the DIA DIA Dow Jones let's start weekly last bar just moved below SMA 5 and 10 but still above SMA 20 still bullish territory just started reversal monthly time frame still bullish trend and bearish divergences right on RSI bullish trend and bearish divergences and quarterly same bullish trend and bearish divergences from 2018 similar story and you have we see we have lines below same expected support correction lines now let's move to iwm russell 2000 russell 2000 weeks weekly bullish trend bearish divergence on rsi monthly same bullish trend no divergences quarterly same bullish trend and expected correct expected support lines below now apple let's start apple weekly bearish trend last bar below all moving averages except 100 and 200 rsi all indicators bearish monthly same story last bar just touched sma 20 bearish crossover bearish reversal signal still above sma 20 it can bounce from sma 20 sma 20 can be strong support so far it's above sma 20 not confirmed bearish reversal trend yet quarterly it is still bullish because last bar still above sma 10 and 20 bullish trend it has huge bearish divergences on rsi right if you if you do like this one bearish divergence bullish trend on quarterly time frame tesla let's start tesla weekly tesla weekly last bar below all moving averages bearish trend bullish divergences on rsi it wants to, it wants to have some correction but still bearish trend and bearish setup all moving averages just did bearish crossover over 200 it's negative setup monthly same monthly bearish trend bearish setup and quarterly last bar below sma 20 bearish trend tesla very negative Terry tesla is bearish nvidia let's let's start nvidia weekly last bar just moved below sma 5 negative signal bearish signal still in the bullish territory large time frame nvidia still bullish bullish trend on monthly time frame last bar huge disconnection from all moving averages and bearish divergences on rsi bullish trend with bearish divergences and quarterly it's a bullish trend quarterly bullish trend bearish divergences on rsi huge disconnection last 
bar disconnected from all moving averages. Microsoft Microsoft Weekly Microsoft Weekly Last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend, bearish divergences, divergences on RSI, monthly, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend, bearish divergences on RSI, and quarterly, bullish trend and bearish divergences on RSI. Bullish trend with bearish divergences on RSI. Okay, uh, yeah, last bar disconnected from all moving averages. Nice bullish trend for Microsoft. Still very powerful bullish, but bearish divergence. It means it's building reversal condition. It's not a divergence. It's not con it's not a signal. It's condition. Okay, Amazon, Amazon Weekly, same like Microsoft, bullish trend, bearish divergences on RSI. SMA 50 just did bullish crossover over 200, bullish trend. Oh, I'm sorry. Weekly Microsoft, let's see monthly. Monthly, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. Monthly it's a bullish trend with bearish divergence. No, it didn't make a new high yet. It didn't make a new high yet. But it's already made a new high against this level. And it created multi multiple bearish divergences. Quarterly, same quarterly, right? Bullish trend and bearish divergence started from 2018. Bullish trend and bearish divergence is last bar above all moving averages. Still bullish trend. Google, let's move to Google weekly. Last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. RSI has bearish divergences, bullish trend. Monthly, uh, monthly, let's see. It did all time new high and bearish divergence on RSI, right? Bullish trend with bearish divergence on RSI. Monthly. And quarterly, bullish trend, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend, RSI has bearish divergence. Last bar above all moving averages, disconnected from all moving averages, bullish trend with bearish divergences. For Google, right, on all time frames, bearish divergences and bullish trend. And Meta, let's do Meta. Meta very powerful, very bullish, right? Weekly bullish with bearish divergences. Monthly, uh, monthly, yeah, still bullish, no divergences, still clear bullish trend. And quarterly, quarterly it has strong divergences, right? Bullish trend. And bearish divergence on RSI. That's what we see, we, we observed. And last bar has huge disconnection from all moving averages. It's not good. It's not good. You see, remember last time what happened? It was huge disconnection from the moving averages. What it did, it did huge sell off. Now it's even double disconnection. It will be very painful sell off. It, it always comes back to SMA 20. 
will come back to SMA 20, it will be like minus to $50, 50% off. And it always can go lower like it was, so you see, 100. Bullish trend. Bullish trend on all time frames. Okay, let's do summary. All indexes and equities still very powerful, very bullish with bearish divergences. Definitely they all build bearish uh, reversal condition, but so far bullish trends on large time frames, no reversal con no any reversal conditions yet. Still strong bullish trend. That's all. That's all from my side. Let's move to my disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purpose, we are using paper trading simulator. Thank you for, for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.